was a solemn goodbye today to a man known as a firefighter's firefighter. Ken Jones died when he fell through the roof of an apartment building in Copper Mountain. That was on Saturday. And it was packed today at the funeral at the Waterstone Community Church in Littleton. The service was closed to the public and the media, but fire officials say still nearly 1,000 people attended. Police motorcycles and fire trucks escorted the fire truck carrying Jones's flag draped casket from the funeral home in Lakewood to the church in Littleton. Strangers lined stretches of the route in a show of support to the family and all those first responders. Mike Labeda followed the procession today, spoke with Coloradans who came out there to pay their respects, and there were a lot of people that showed up today, Michael. Karen, losing firefighter Ken Jones was a huge blow to Summit County. Well, Friday, members of the Denver Metro community came out to make sure that Summit County knows they care. Getting through this ceremony is uh, is going to be tough. Somberly, they gather. They're, I think, just family, and it's impacting everybody. Say to the Lord, my refuge. For a right nobody ever wants to perform. Firefighters from Summit County were joined by other first responders and people from all across the state as they said farewell to one of their own. The impression that Ken has left on our hearts and on our organization um, will be uh, honored. It really hits close to home. Marlene Zandel came out to see the procession for firefighter Ken Jones. Her daughter is a Summit County firefighter herself, and she says this has been a challenging time for the whole department. My heart aches for her because I know this just makes her think about it as well, her mortality. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. And as the procession reserved for only those who gave all rolled on, everyone showed their support for those who, along with Ken Jones, will pay the price for his sacrifice. My heart breaks for Summit Fire and EMS and for the family of Ken Jones. Their firefighter Jones was laid to rest at a private funeral here and a private burial. In Littleton, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Michael.